Hello, 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 everybody. This is Dr. Sheneva Early, your craft doctor, and I'm on the last video. Um, I started making it. I got interrupted, so I'm back to it. So we're doing a last one for Swan Lake. So this is a bridge card, and these are all the pieces. And I'm just going to take this and mat this layer up right quick. So with this card this is an a2 size bridge so it looks smaller than usual but it's really not um it's just a2 size you know most bridge cards are larger that's what i was looking up i was looking up bridge cards for you to tell you the person who does these all the time what is her name um i don't see her of course i don't of course not because I see, where's the lady that does bridge cards? I was just looking it up. I should have, not Cindy. Um, not her. Of course, when I'm looking for it, I never come find what I'm looking for. But it's a lady who does bridge cards and her bridge cards be so beautiful. Is it Jan B? Um, I don't remember. I'm pulling up bridge cards and all of these bridge cards are coming up except the lady. I'm thinking it might be Jan B, but I don't think that's her. But it's a lady who does such beautiful bridge cards and she does them all the time. But if you go on YouTube and type in bridge cards, you'll see her and you'll see a lot of bridge cards. But I'm going to do this small one. So this one is just a standard A2 size card, standard card base, five and a quarter by... No, it's not. Yeah, I guess it's the long way. I don't know. Because <laughs> I didn't write measurements. I want to say this is 8 by 4. Something like that. Okay, go on there and y'all can see the bridge cards. Because the lady does beautiful bridge cards. And they come in different sizes. So that's another thing. When you're doing the bridge cards, they come in such such different sizes. But anyway... You, you do, you measure, I think this is a one and a half by one and a half. Score here, score here, score here, score here. So when you see it, you'll know. Okay, I'm not going to keep y'all long because this is not a long card. So it'll look like that. And they stand up by themselves. And so then I have this piece and this piece will go right here. And it'll help stand up as a bridge. Duh, see? Yep. So let's mat and layer this. So what I did was I stamped Swan Lake with my favorite two little cute pieces. Mm. What did I do? And let's see. Uh oh, I gotta tighten this up. Nah. Okay, dokey. There we go. I had to tighten that up. Uh, I must have didn't do a good job. Okay, last cards. This is the last cards I have to do when you want to mess up right now. Really? Okay, look, we're not, we're not about to play. We ain't about to play no games with you. Uh, oh, Lord. You know why? Because I got another one. <laughs> I know this fits in here. There we go. Okay. There we go. All right. So then this gets matte and layered on here. And then I'm only going to put tape there and the same spot on this side. 
And when you're doing cards like this, like the bridge card or any card really that has um, a side to it, do the first side first. Whatever side you're starting with, do that side first, right? And then just lay down the other side. You don't got to hold it up in the air or nothing. It'll fit exactly right-ish where it's supposed to go. Can you see that? It'll fit where it's supposed to go. If you put it on straight, you will fit. I'm telling you. See, it's, it's going to fit right where it's supposed to go. Stop making me into a liar card base. There. There. See? It'll fit right where it's supposed to go. Right where it's supposed to go. See that? How come it's not laying down right? There you go. There we go. Okay, I'm about to say. Now, I know there's work. It works. See? Right where it's supposed to go. Okay? And then you bend it up like that, and it'll stay up. Okay? And then these two pieces, oh, help me, Jesus. It's supposed to be matted right here. <laughs> it's supposed to be the matte layers. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm with this down here. Okay, that goes there. And then this one goes over here. I'll let this go like that. As I do it again, but it still works, I'll lay this one here. Lay that down and just lay it down over there. And then it fits perfectly. It'll fit perfectly. See? fits perfect and we have our little swan lakes and then take our little people i mean our ducks <laughs> swans and we're gonna put one swan right there and we're gonna put the other swan right there see super cute it's a bridge card all right last but not least is this one this is this is a um box card a box card a box card and this was made with stephanie bernard's dies okay so you cut out two pieces and then you cut out the center so you can see you know and then these are scores that's already in the die the score marks already is in the die. Okay. So, you know, this is the funny thing. If this don't, these videos don't turn out right, y'all getting to see them. Because I did a lot of work for this not to work. <laughs> and then at the end, I'll just do one video that has a review of all the cards. But y'all, y'all, y'all getting these cards. Y'all go see these cards. And then we're going to just, we're going to take this and we're going to, um, these, this fits right across. They tape down right across there. Okay. So first things first, we're going to take this one and I'm just going to put some tape right here and match it up. Perfecto, right there. Okay. And then I'm just going to lay this one down and I'm going to put some liquid glue or glossy accents because my tape runner is smaller.
Okay, and remember what I said. You don't have to go through um, trying to fit this because if you lay this down, like that, if you lay this down, this piece will lay down on top of it just like that. That, I'm telling you, it works every single time. You don't have to hold it up and figure it out if you lay it down because most dies are symmetrical the way they're supposed to be. They will fit. Like that, okay? And it's a box. Okay? Then this piece, it goes right here. So we're just going to put that in there. Put our swan right in the middle. Okay. And then these are the bridges. And they have score lines. And then they just fit right in there. So you can put your stuff on them. And so they're different. One goes like this and one goes like that. Because they're different, as you can see. And so you just push this score down, this score down. And then you put your adhesive on this side of the score line okay just like that and then you put this in here <clears throat> i'm matching it up i'm just picking a place but i'm buttoning it up against if you can see that i'm buttoning it up against there and i'm just going to take this one and i'm gonna butt this one up against there and it fits perfectly and you just squeeze down squeeze down and it, it lays down perfectly, okay? Just like that. And you see that? You see that? And then this one goes right on top of there. Right here and right there. Okay? It goes right on top. So I'm going to take this and you can put this in before you close it up. It really doesn't matter. It's up to you. Okay. And so all I'm going to do is put this in here and I'm matching it up with the bottom. Now I'm just choosing that place, but I'm actually, I'm buttoning it up against the first one and I'm putting it at the bottom. See that? Button it up against that first one. Folding it, button it up against that first one, and I can feel it because you can feel it when it stops, and I'm lining it up at the bottom. Right there. See? I lined it up against the butt of that one and the bottom on both sides. See that? Works perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now you have somewhere to stick your accoutrement, which is what this stuff is. So I'm going to take this one, and this piece is going to go, I want to put, oh, maybe this needs to go all the way over. Maybe, can I, can I move my duck over? I think my duck was supposed to go all the way over to the other side. All the way over. It's supposed to go all the way over to give way for my other thing. Right here. Okay. Make sure everything is stuck down that way and this way. Okay. And then this slides right in there. Yep, there we go. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? Because this 
should I should have cut more off on that side. So I'm just going to cut that off because I want this to be right here. Okay? Now let's don't look at the back. I stamp stuff on it. <laughs> I use, I use used paper. <laughs> I do use used paper. But I want this to be right here. Okay. I want that to be right there. And then I want my man and lady to be in there. So we're going to just put tape on their legs and put them right there. We're going to put our swan lady I'm going to put a little tape a little tape right there and I'm going to put her swan dancing and then I'm going to take and put him right here here. <gasps> Excuse me. I don't want, I'm, you know what, I'm going to move them. And I'm going to put them right 